Let's try question one from probably the hardest physics exam in the world, the GE Advanced. I am always humbled every time I try a question from this exam and I want you to keep in mind that in the real exam the candidates have approximately two minutes per question. We have two stars that are initially the same radius r, star A and star B. Now the mass of star B is initially twice the mass of star A and their respective densities are given by rho A and rho B. Now what happens is that due to an astrophysical process star B starts devouring star A. So star A actually shrinks to half of its radius and the remaining mass is contained within a shell of density rho a around the second star. The ratio of the two escape velocities of the stars vb over va is given by this expression and what we need to do is find out the value of n. Okay, let's do it. The first thing that I'm going to start off with is the fact that the density of A is equal to its mass divided by the volume. Because the stars are spherical, we can say that this is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. Now, if this volume here has shrunk to half of its value, but its density has remained exactly the same. This means that if the denominator decreases by a factor of 2 cubed, which is 8, um, then its mass must also decrease by a factor of 8. So we can say that the new mass, I'm going to call it ma dash, will be equal to ma divided by Eight. So we have the new mass of star A and we know its radius which is r over 2 so we can work out its escape speed. To work out VA for the exam I would recommend uh, perhaps memorizing this formula so that you'll be able to recall it quickly however I don't really like memorizing so I'm always going to rederive it so I'm going to set the kinetic energy a half mv squared to be equal to g m a over 8 times m divided by r over 2. Now the factor of m is going to go and what we're going to get is a half v squared will be equal to gma. This factor of 2 will go up here and the factor of 8 will go into the denominator multiplied by r. Now this factor of 2 will actually end up giving me a Four up here. What I'm left with is that V will be the square root of G M A divided by 4 over 8 is going to give me a factor of 2 R where this here is the escape velocity of star A. Now let's repeat exactly the same process for star B. So I'm going to set a half mvb squared to be equal to g, the mass of B, and then I'm going to divide that by the new radius of B, which we're not really sure what that is, so I'm just going to call it Rb. Now these m here are going to cancel. What I'm left with is that vb squared will be equal to 2g m divided by rb. Now what will the mass of the second star be after this uh, devouring of the initial star? Well initially the second star had twice the mass of the first star but then this star now actually weighs only an eighth of its original mass so I'm going to need to add seven eighths to this expression here. So what I'm going to get is this here will be equal to 2g. Now rather than mb I am going to say that the original mass was 2ma plus it's also acquired 7 eighths of the star next to it. So 7 eighths ma and then I'm going to be dividing that by uh, B. And I can tidy this expression even a little bit more saying that VB will be equal to the square root of 2G. Now twice MA plus 7 eighths this is going to give me 
16 over 8 MA plus 7 over 8 MA, which is going to be 23 over 8 multiplied by MA divided by a factor of the radius. So what I need to do now is figure out the radius of the new star and then I can work out this ratio and hopefully figure out what n actually is. The key to this is actually in this spherical shell. We're given that the density of the spherical shell remains to be equal to rho a. We can write down that the density of the shell a will be equal to the mass of the shell, which is just equal to 7 eighths ma divided by the volume of the shell. Let's rearrange this for the volume and we're going to say that the volume will be equal to 7 a uh, ma and then we're going to divide that by a factor of 8 times the density. What will the volume of the shell be? This will hopefully be able to give us an expression in terms of the radius. So the volume of just this shaded bit will be equal to the entire volume, take away the original volume of the star. So this will be equal to 4 thirds pi. Let's say the new radius is Rb. We don't really need that prime, so let's get rid of it. So 4 thirds pi rb and this will be cubed take away four thirds pi the original radius was r so it's going to be r cubed and this will be equal to seven over eight and then now we have mass over density well this here is actually just going to equal to the original volume of a now let's rearrange this expression. So what I'm going to get is 4 thirds pi rb cubed will be equal to 7 over 8. The original volume of uh, a is going to be 4 thirds pi r cubed plus 4 thirds pi r cubed, just bringing this expression onto this side. And now let's uh, multiply by the inverse of this factor so that we can isolate rb cubed, which will just give me, well, the 4 pi's are going to cancel and then the 3's are also going to cancel. So this here will just give me 7 eighths r cubed plus r cubed. So rb cubed will be 7 eighths plus 8 eighths, so was that 15 uh, over 8 r cubed. Now rb will then be equal to the cube root of 15 times r divided by the cube root of 8, which is just 2. Okay, perfect. We have an expression for rb. And what we can do is sub this into here. I'm going to solve this on this side of the board. Hopefully I'm still on camera. So vb, the escape velocity of v will be equal to 2g multiplied by 23. We're going to put a factor of 8 at the bottom, multiply by ma. And then rather than rb, I'm going to write down the cube root of 15 times r and then divided by a factor of 2 means that I'm going to get a factor of 2 up here. So vb will then be equal to, uh, let's see what we get, we get a factor of 2 times 2 which is a 4 divided by 8 and that's going to give me g times 23 divided by 2. Then we get a factor of ma up here, then we get a factor of 15, 3R. I think that's right. And now I can finally work out the ratio of VB divided by VA. Uh, somewhere here is my expression for VA. There we go. So VB over VA will be equal to this expression here first. So this will be equal to G times 23 MA 
over 2 and then cube root of 15 times r. Now what I'm going to do is multiply by the inverse which is equivalent to division so it'll be times 2r divided by gma and now I'm going to get a lot of cancellations so g can go, r be gone, r, m, a can go what i'm left with oh the two can go as well how good is that is going to be a pretty simple expression so i think all i'm left with is 23 over the cube root of 15 which looks identical to this expression and this means that after all this work 10n has to be equal to 23 or n has to be equal to 2.3 and our GE advanced problem is solved. I really like these problems and you should have a look at one more of these right over here.